Okay, I'm out in the garage today and I want kind of a crate uh, tray to put on my bar area. I want to remove the two tier tray and put it somewhere else. And I want to do a grouping of some things that I'm trying to make. So I need a kind of a crate style tray. So this back over here is a bunch of just slap boards, thin slap boards that my husband had trimmed off when he was making some cabinets. And I kept them. That's where I get my scraps from him. But let me show you what I, how, what I've done. Don't pay attention to my messy garage. But this is where I'm at so far. I cut uh, this board here. It was a one by, one by something. It was probably a one by six. I had to cut it down to a three and a quarter high. But I just made it 10 inches long. And then with the slats, all the slats, I cut them exactly 14 inches and there are seven of them. This here is the bottom. And this will be the side. And I only want one slat because it's gonna replace my tray and I don't want it deep. I want things to be able to show. So that's where I'm at now. So I'm going to go get my, well, first off, I'm gonna sand all these boards down and then get my wood glue and my brad nail gun and put it together. Okay, before I nailed it together, or after I sanded it, I decided not to make the mistake I've done other times and I brought it in and painted it. And I used the, um, this here, farmhouse finish sample. I bought a two ounce sample of this it's called driftwood and I really like the color of it it's just what I was wanting so I'm gonna let this dry real good and then I'll take it out to the garage and put it together okay while I'm waiting for my uh, paint to dry on that actually I, I waited for the paint to dry and I put a sealer on it now I'm going to uh, do this little broom up I see a lot of people hang these from their pegs and stuff, and I think it's really cute, but I want to put a little something on mine, of course. So I have some different strips of home spun fabric here, and I think I'm gonna go with the red. And I don't know how much I'll need, probably not very much. I hope my glue gun's ready to go. Oh, there went my tools. I tipped over. I'm going to have to put those up because they're wrapped around the cord. Lovely. Never fails. And my glue gun cord's also wrapped around my heat gun cord. I need cordless. Okay, I think I'm ready to go now think. So I'm not going to do a whole lot to it, but I'm just going to start wrapping, I believe. I have, I, you see me grab that back because I'm used to laying things in my lap like this. I think I'm just going to wrap some fabric around this. I wonder if I should start where I should start exactly. Maybe right there to cover that. And then I can come back around and finish the top. I think that's what I'll do. Right there. This is going to be really simple. I like really simple, fun projects. And actually, the uh, tray that I built, <laughs> that was pretty simple. Pretty simple. Okay, I'm going to come down to here. And just let that glue or let that. I wonder if I should cut it off or if I can go around. I think I'll cut it off. Scissors. Mm 
Yeah, I want to make that the front. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a fast one. It's just uh, finding the finding a way to embellish it is going to be the hardest part. I have just some pit berries and some stars and stuff out here. There I am pulling it towards me. It's looking pretty cute. I think I'm gonna put some hot glue right in here though. All right, let's keep going. Don't mess it up. It's too easy to mess up. Some glue right here. Right here. I'm kind of in between. I'm wanting to decorate for fall. I have my fall stuff brought in, but I haven't started it yet. Things are looking kind of, which was my front. Let's see. I believe that was. That looks good. Hold that there for a little bit, and then I'll cut it off. Then I'll start decorating. That's glue's come through the fabric. Okay, there is the top of it. This thing, oh boy, I should have made sure that was straight. That thing, I didn't know it moved. And I've already got my material down. Glued up underneath there. I didn't even notice that. I'm gonna hold it and glue my material there. I didn't even notice this little holder was moving. Okay, I think that got it. All right, now. I know I want to wrap just a little bit around here. I want to cut all, I don't want it all red. Do I go the big check or the little check? I don't know. I think I like the big check. I think I'll go with the big check. Hmm, let me see. I need to kind of straighten this up a little bit because I'm going to wrap it around several times. I'll probably just start in the middle. Like right there, see. I got to make sure I have enough on each side. Let me half this. Okay, right in there is the middle. Let me make sure. Pull that up here. Take this. It's widening up on me. Pull that up here. Let's see how this is going to work. I don't know. I think I like that. I wished I could tie better. Well, that's can't get that to come in. Wadded, it's all wadded up because of the way I tie a bow. I think that's a little big. I like that. 
and I can mess with the bow after I get it finished, but I like about that size. I need it tight. Let me pull it down real little and then pull it out. There, I like that. And then what? Hmm, I think I like a little bit of the red mixed in there. I know I'm not going to need them that long, so go ahead and cut them off. That's kind of what it's starting to look like. All right. Wonder if I could just throw some of this red underneath there. I'd like a little bit of that in there, I think. Yeah, I think I like that. I think, I think. All right. Now, I got this at the thrift store, and I've already used it once, and I'm going to use some of it again, I believe. i got to find my wire cutters. Because I can never be prepared. And that's the ones that don't work. And that's all I can find is the ones that don't cut very well. Oh, crud. I don't know. Wait. Nope, that's not them. Okay. I gotta figure out what I want. not very many of these. I'm going to have to find some and just cut them and kind of group them together. Okay. Well, that one cut all right. Okay, I want a few, I think, of the lighter colored ones. I'm going to have to put these together. Okay, there's red. That one came totally off. A lot of times I just kind of decorate stuff off camera because it does take me a while to figure out how I want it. And a couple dark ones. And there's a dark one. That'll work. Okay. This one I'll use to wrap it with. That is a little long, I think. Let's pull that one up. Push that one up. What I should have done... I wonder how I'm going to... And under there like that. Let's see. More to the middle. More that way. Hmm. I think I don't like. I don't think I like it going down. This takes so long for me to figure out what I'm doing. Maybe I ought to come back when I have it figured out. Those are just a little high, I think. I want them down a little lower. Okay, where's my wrapping? This one I wrapped with. 
Okay, I don't want them. Okay, pull that down there. Well, it's caught on one another. Let's see how that will work. It's still high. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do this and come back because it will take me a while to fiddle with this, and you don't want to see me doing all that. So when I get it figured out and done, I'll come back. Okay, I think I got that how I wanted it, and I added some little stars. I had, I had all those little stars that mixed in with this wreath. And I just need to trim my tails. And I think, I don't know. Seems like it needs something else, but I really don't know what it is. What I'll do, I think, is I'll just hang it. And uh, when I come across something or get an idea, I'll take it down and do it. But I'm going to just use a piece of this black check material, the smaller, for the hanger. Make sure that's good and tight. Cut that off. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I'm not sure which way to turn it. This way. And I think I'm going... <laughs> I'm telling you, this is hard to do. Okay, that's the way it turned out. That's that way. And if I should be turning it this way, there it is that way. Okay, I'm going to go hang this up. And see if that's the way I like it. And like I said, if I come across something I have in here that I'd rather put on it or add to it, that's what I'll do. All right, now I'm going to go. My uh, paint should be dry on my crate, and I'm going to go in there and or go out to the garage and put it together. All right, I have the little slat box finished, and... I don't have it where I want it, but where I want it, that if I was trying to show it, there's a window behind it and it would just glare way too bad. So I put it here in my baker's rack and I think it looks cute. I just might leave it here. But let me show you. This candle here, I, uh, I do have, I grunged it up with wax. I do have a video for that. Not on that particular candle, but I have a video of how to grunge with wax, and I'll leave the link below. Uh, I made the little uh, grater in a video. I'll leave the link for that below. I got both of those items in a garage, at, at the thrift store. The light and the grater. Of course, I bought the little flickering candle or flickering bulb. And then the little uh, creamer back there, that was a thrift store find. The rolling pin was a thrift store find. The spoon was a thrift store find. The little apple I have sitting there was thrift store find. The eggs I did buy off of Amazon. And I'm going to have to do something. Well, I tried it with this. I put a little... Uh, Alcohol and kind of washed off that egg and it took the shine off from it because my chickens don't lay shiny eggs 
and it really bothers me. But anyways, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. And the only thing that I done that I wished I had not done, okay, let me show you right here. On the corners, I did decide to put a 40 degree angle on it, on each one of them, on each side. I kind of wished I hadn't done that or at least brought that slat board up to here because I was thinking when I put my light in it, I knew that's what I wanted to do with it, that I would just run the cord, you know, out the slat, bottom slat in the corner. Well, when I put that 40 degree angle in there and then I brought my slat down a little bit, well, there's not enough room. So I had to run it over the corner in the back. That's the only thing I would have done different. But I hope y'all like how this turned out. I know it's gonna be a short video for this, this one, but uh, it's what I have. I have a lot of things I'm working on, but not to go in this one. So if you wanna see those, stay tuned. So until the next one, we'll see y'all later. Bye.